Hi you guys, so today is going to be a Barbie Fashionista haul. I hauled some more Fashionistas from my local Walmart. And once again, I really would suggest you guys um, buy them in person because I finally got my Wicked doll in and her whole right eye, and she's missing half of her eyebrow and then her whole eye, right eye is completely slanted so I contacted Mattel. I usually do contact Mattel when I have any issues just to let them know what's up, you know. You know, if you don't contact the company, you can complain about it on YouTube. But if you don't contact them directly, they're never going to know what their problem is. But the good thing is not none of these fashionistas, as far as I've seen, have any issue with the Wonka issue. But a Barbie collector doll, they should really pay attention to. They had it, like, wrapped in tissue and everything. It was so nicely wrapped. And unfortunately, she does have the Wonka eye situation. So I'm not going to be doing a review on her until I get a proper one in. And just, just to show you what she actually looks like, which is really sad. But... So, it should be a later on review. We're going to see what, what Mattel is. I'm currently just waiting for them to actually just kind of respond to my DM on Twitter. I always DM. They they probably get tired of me DMing them all the time. But So, um, so today's video is going to be a whole big old Barbie haul. I will continue to buy Barbie dolls no matter what. Because, I mean, obviously I don't have an issue, apparently. But, um, so we got Fashionista number 111, one, one, like 111. I guess you could say. Very, very cute. This is a curvy girl. She's beautiful. This is all Barbies. This is, isn't this crazy that this is all Barbies? And this is not even half of it. They're all on the floor right there. This is crazy. I need to get another shelf. So this is number 111. One, one, okay. And this is a cute little curvy girl. She's got this cute little mini dress on. Very cute. Tan body. She's very exotic looking. I love her skin color. I love the hair color. She's just got gel on the top part of her hair. Like right here and right here is all gel down. This is all nice and fluffy and nice and soft. Um, it's a very blunt cut, I would say. And she's got a pair of pumps on. Amen for that. She's got pumps on, so she's good to go. I love a good Barbie doll with high heels on. I'm not a really big fan of the flat shoes. That's all I could say. But but she is very, very adorable. And this is a, is this a two-piece outfit? Yes, it is a two-piece outfit. It's a high-waisted skirt. And she is just adorable. And she's got, she had blue eyes? Wow. And she's got blue eyes. And she don't have that one guy issues. Her eyes are perfectly symmetrical. She's beautiful, gorgeous, and she's a curvy girl. And she's got this little cute choker. And this is like real, this is all spandexy stuff. Everything that she has on is spandexy. It's like it's material like they always do. But, um, so let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite Barbie doll. Next, we got number 109. This one I got some issues with, but um, I was wondering if she had rooted hair, different colors maybe, but nope. She's got hot pink um, cotton candy-like hair, like the one with the bangs, if you guys remember her. She's very, very similar. This is an odd doll right here. I would say she's a very odd doll. She's got a questionable outfit. You know, if you don't like it, you can always redress her. I would redress her with a pair of shorts. It's just a lot going on. This was always a debation for me. I seen her at Walmart. I passed her up. And then I wound up buying her eventually because I thought she had a cute face. You know, she could be redressed and made to look cuter, you know. And she's got odd roots, okay? She's got black, coal black scalp. So her scalp is coal solid black. I mean, that's an odd choice in my opinion. I think they should have painted it white. So it's because it's very, very see-through. You could see directly through her hair. And it is a coal black scalp. That is an odd choice for an undercolor um, for them not, you know, rooting the hair hot pink or this really, really light cotton candy. You could see it through her scalp. It's so, such an odd thing to do, but they did that. Um, I think they should have painted it white or pink or like a just a lighter color than just solid black. But this was an odd choice. She's got a little um, bracelet. It's studded, I think. Yeah, it's like little studs on it. It's like, you know, it's cute, but... She's an odd doll, I would say. She's an odd beauty. That's what I would call her, an odd beauty. A very, very pretty face. Questionable scalp, questionable outfit. You know, she's her own, you know, she's vibing her own thing. She's doing her own thing, basically. Loving the boots, though. High heel boots. Now, all of these girls, surprisingly, have high heel shoes, which is amazing. Love, love, love these girls. And I will be collecting them and putting them on my shelf. Um as I do with all of these girls. So number 110 is the one I really had my eye on. Um, she's the Asian girl with the, you know, cute shirt dress, sparkly, hair was on point, earrings were everything. This girl is really, really nicely detailed. They put a lot of thought into this doll, I think. 
just the way that they dressed her, which is adorable. She's got a cute face. Look at a little cute hair tie. She's got green and black hair. Like, how cool is that? It's about butt length. She's got a very, very sparkly, sparkly top. It's very tarpish feeling. It's not real material. It's very, like... You know what I'm saying? It's like a very, very tarpy material. So it's not real um, t-shirt material. It's like spandex, maybe with a tarp feeling type shirt, I would say. Um, and she's a tall girl, believe it or not. She's very, very tall. Like, oh my God, she's so tall. She's bigger than my head almost. And she's got these cute little um, pumps on. I love a good Barbie with a pump. I mean, I think honestly that they listen to me sometimes when, it, when we say we don't like the pumps and we, we'd rather to... We don't like the flat feet, and we would rather the um, high heel girls. I think they listen to me sometimes, but maybe it's in my head. But I think she is adorable. Look how cute she is. And these are so inexpensive at Walmart. I think they kind of waited for the holiday season to release these at my local store, but I'm not 100% positive because we're just now getting all of these in, believe it or not. So this is number 106. She's very, very tropical, and apparently I forgot to cut off her band, so she does have an elastic band around her feet. That's crazy. But she reminds me of, um, she's very, very gorgeous. Look at her cute face. She's got a cute smile. None of these, oh, um, yeah, they all. She's got a very, very beautiful face. Her, her earrings are like little Coke bottle looking things or like, I don't know. What do you guys think it looks like? I love her dress though. It's just so, so tropical and so vibrant. This is real spandexy material. All these girls are wearing some spandex. She's just so, so tropical. I think um, black dolls look great in like really, really bright, bright colors. They just, the skin and then the bright colors just makes them pop so, so beautifully. Look at her makeup too. All of these girls have very, very um, natural faces, natural lips. There's nothing dramatic about them because they're just, they're still focused on trying to make them like look like a person, which I don't get, but that's what they're, they've decided to do. She's got a cute little pump, cute little pumps, all these. All these girls have cute high heel shoes. I love them so, so much. Those are the only four that I bought as far as the fashionistas are concerned. So this is going to be a huge Barbie haul. So um, those are very, very cute. And I'm going to be putting them on my shelf pretty soon. I have like a fashionista dedicated shelf kind of thing. Like I think it started off down there and up there. And then it's moved to this shelf now because I have so many of them. I love these fashionistas. Now the new camping Barbie set is really, really cute. Um, it comes with a Kelly doll. I never, I have like, this is now my second Kelly doll, I think, because she, she came with a set. No, I have Skipper. I have two versions of Skipper. This is my first, no, my second Kelly doll, because I have the school teacher one, too. Um, so this is a camping Barbie doll. This is another one that they released. Um, this is all new by Mattel. You know, she's got the little cutesy, um, fancy bun. She's got very, very thin, very nice hair. It is not dense. I would say it's, it is a full head of rooted hair. It's just not really thick strands that are rooted in. I guess they're trying to mimic how we have our hair, actually. Um, and she's got a rubber banded on lantern. Does nothing. It's just pretend, I think. Yep, it's pretend play. It's hollow in the inside. And it's rubber banded onto her little thing. She's got this cute pair of, like, denim-like shorts. Is this a one piece? Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be no, it's just like a t shirt and like a um like a um just as like slip on type of thing. There's like no there's a velcro closure in the back, but there's no velcro closure. This is like you just kinda slot it on type of thing. But I think she's so so adorable. Adorable doll. And look, okay, I think the gods have spoken because look, can y'all see this? Wait. She's got a peep toe foot and she's got flat boots on. How cool is that? So if you guys love a good peep toe shoe, I mean, the gods have spoken and they've created this beautiful doll with uh, hiking boots and she's got a peep toe foot. That's the best thing. I love my Barbie dolls to have peep toe feet. I was kind of low key thinking, well, does she have flat feet or does she have um, peep toe feet? But I'm so grateful and so glad that one of my girls has a little cute, cutesy little peep toe feet. Very, very cute. And she, her accessories include a dog. Like I said before, they always include some type of animal. Um, I think it's cute, cute animal. And it lays flat. It's very, very solid plastic. Just really, really solid. They have a bag that actually opens. But not like, it's it's got this little clasp in the front. It, it opens and closes. And one thing I could say is that they can make material. You can't really put nothing in here because they have like wedges like just to hold everything together. So this is like a play pretend bag. You can open it, but I wish that they would make material. Even if they would do it out of pleather, 
I think that that would be a nice little touch. You can't really put nothing in here because you can open it, but it's like got too much stuff going on in the inside to make it great. So this is um Kelly. That's what she was called in my time. I don't know what they're calling her now, but this is the Kelly doll. Look how cute she is. I don't have many of these. I have the school teacher girl. I have, and this is my second one, and I have two different versions of Skipper. Actually, three. I have the um camping fun, and the, um the other camping one with the fishing one, and the, um I don't know another one. I have three different versions of Skipper, but this is a really really cute doll. These dolls have a million little conjingas in the back. They all have really squishy heads. That's what I failed to mention. They all have very, very squishy heads. Um, she's got basic movability. You know, she can sit, stand, and I will be putting her in my collection with this really cute camping fun set. I think she's a very, very adorable little cute doll. Um, and I'm so glad to have her in my collection, and I will be adding all of these to my camping set. Now, um, for the, the robot doll, for you guys that were wondering, um, I do have a robotics engineer doll. And she's 2018's robotic engineer doll. Now, I don't think I'm going to be opening her because she's got like a, um, it's got the career of the year doll logo on it. It's very like 2018, like in the future, like, you know what I'm saying? You can look back at this. I think this is going to be one of them dolls that I just don't want to open. Um, the packaging has a lot of zip ties, so it doesn't seem to be like nothing's going to come off and nothing's going to fall as far as I know. But if I decide to open her in the future, you guys will be the first to see her. So... And this is 2018 career of the year, Barbie Robotics Engineer. I kept calling her Robot Barbie, and y'all are probably so confused. But um, this is Barbie Robotics Engineer. I did get her from um, Target.com because my local Walmart or my Target did not have them in stock whatsoever. So it's a robotics engineer, which means they make robots for a living, I'm assuming, hopefully. Um, if you guys can correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but she is very, very cute. She is a white blonde doll. She is the exact same doll as my denim doll. Where is she? I have a denim. You know that denim girl that, that I did a review on with the, with the, with the, um, brass, um, with the silver logo? She's the exact same face as that girl. I think different body, but di same exact face. She's a typical blonde Barbie. They have a black girl and they have a white girl. It's the only two colors that I've seen. And she does have, um flat little sneakers and I love the little design on the packaging you see how it has like little gears and stuff that's so so cool this is a definite recommendation of mine and the robot is posable which is great so she makes her own robots and I think that's really cool and it's um and they it look like they collabed with Tinker T-Y-N-K-E-R Tinker um is a company that they collaborated with to make this doll a, a reality. So when they do collab, you know, they, they make a little bit more interest in dolls of fun than when they do collab with different companies. Anyway, that's her laptop right there, if you guys are curious. And she looks to have real denim spandex material, I think. But let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Um, and as I said before, I will be doing more Barbie reviews. So I will be doing a Wicked review once I find out the situation, if I have to return to Target, I don't know the deal right now as far as I know. Like, I could go return to Target, but Target would send me another one back, maybe the same defect. So if I can get one from Mattel, Mattel might actually check the eyes and say, okay, this is a good one, send this one to him. So we're going to see how this all plays out. So if you like this video, hit that big like button and leave a comment down below, below letting me you know which one's, which one's your favorite doll. I can't talk today, sorry. But let me know which one's your favorite doll. And just remember to like and subscribe. And you'll see more doll videos. Bye.